Hey guys, welcome to my video. So today we are going to talk about dirty coding style. Yeah, so we first, what is a coding style? So a coding style is um, is basically just the rules and guidelines used when writing code for a computer program. And then they commonly deal with just the visual appearance of your code to make it more readable and then user friendly. There are multiple coding styles, obviously, but today we are just focusing on the Betty coding style. So, um, what you do, just check the description, there's a link there. So, that's the main GitHub repository for Betty. So, just open that up on your computer, and then, um, yeah, we're going to jump right in there. So, this is the repository for the Betty coding style. So these are the, the, the aspects of every coding style that changes from style to style. So the indentation is like the tabs and the spaces you put in your code, breaking long lines, size, how many spaces you put between lines, braces, these are those curly brackets, you know, space naming and all those stuff. So first let's start with the indentation. You, you can just go through this on your, on your system. I'm not going to spend too much time here. So use tabs to indent your code. So these are the ones also do the code with the Betty style. You know, this C programming language normally does not really care about your indentation, but if you want to use the style for maybe a specific reason, this is how you do it. So first, after every function, the curly brackets should be in the next next line. Then the next line after that, you start your declarations, then give a space, your assignment before you can start giving the other function. So this is the end of the main function. So don't put multiple statements on a single line. So I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'm just going to show you on my terminal how to actually write code with the Betty coding style. So now I've booted up my terminal and I'm going to show you how to write a simple code in the Betty coding style. One thing you can do before you start, you should install the Betty linter. And the Betty linter is where it can allow you to check your code with just like Betty. So know if you are following the correct style. As you can see, there's no red error. If you're using the wrong style, there'll be plenty of red errors here. To show that you are wrong. So to install the Betty linter, just check out. There should be a pop up here. I've already made a video on how to install Betty to so easily check your code for the Betty code install. So let's just start. Let's create a file called Betty. Okay. okay. So the first thing you should do in any code include your libraries. Just start right now. I just declare an integer for it. You don't need to know any of this for now. Okay, now let's run the Betty Lynch and see. Sorry. Okay, you can see one error here, but it may should probably be okay. They want us to put the void inside the function declaration for the next one space prohibited between function name and open parenthesis. Okay, so this is what the Betty link asks us to do. So 
And now there shouldn't be any red flag. Okay, you see. So this white flag here is, is not really an error, it's just like a suggestion. So they want us to add a description for main and to put descriptions in that's like a comment. So to put a comment with the petty code in style, there's a specific way to do it. Under documentations, then you see functions. So this is how to comment for a function. This is an example. So you start with a forward slash and two asterisks. Then all your description should be in a block of lines preceded by a couple of asterisks here. They end it with an asterisk and a forward slash. So just the quick description, the function name, and all this stuff. So basically, at the beginning of your main, <coughs> at the beginning of your main function, just put a little description there for for the best link to work without errors. <coughs> Sorry about that. description for function name what give me a minute there okay we should start the description with the name of the function okay Okay, as you can see, there are no errors. So this code completely conforms with the petty coding style. Yes, and this is just a very simple program. So let's go with a more complex program. And one more thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, click the bell icon to be notified of my upcoming videos. It really helps out the channel. Thank you. Okay, so I'll just put up my terminal in full screen here. And Let's work on a, an actual C program that we can test with the Betty style. So I'll just call it, call it um, random number dot C. Okay. So first we'll start with the libraries, obviously. in the petty coding style. So 
So now let's test test the finding errors. Okay, there yeah. are one, two, three, and five errors here. The first error says space prohibited between function name and open parenthesis. I included that intentionally just to show you. The second one said void main should probably be void main void. Okay, space required before the open parenthesis line 24 and line 5. Now let's go and correct them. This was the first error. You need to remove this space here between the function and the parenthesis. So for the next error, so the next error is on line 24. There should be a parenthesis between the four, um, a space between the four and the parenthesis. Yeah. So which other error can we find? This main will include void inside the main function. Okay. So just type void there. So let's let's go and check it again. Okay, now we're done with the red arrows. Just suggestions now. No description for the function. Get one dot and from the function. Get at main. Okay, so let's quickly add some comments for get random and get main and name. <coughs> So add a function with the better style, put a false slash, so asterisk, then a line of asterisk, just like the name of the function here. Then you can write any description for the function. Generate a random number with <coughs> minimum 1. So let's add a description for the parameter max. So that max is the value that the function receives from main. The number in from calling the function. Okay, now let's write <coughs> the comment for the return variable. Now to end the comment block, just put an asterisk and a forward slash. So now let's also put a comment for the main function. So you can just write anything here as long as you start with the name of the function itself, then description. End the comment here. Okay, I think we are done now. As you can see, there are no errors anymore. So that is basically how to write a code in the Betty coding style. So let me just quickly go over the things that the error did not bring up that I got correctly the first time. So <coughs> some things you should note for the Betty style. Number one, this. This curly bracket here should always start on the next line and your your declarations should be on the next line with a tab space between the curly bracket and your variable declarations. Then you should give a space if you want to start your actual you know the actual operations of the function. Then the next curly bracket, the closing one in the next line also. Then you can any other function you are doing the same thing. Curly bracket should start on the next line. Then give it tab before you start doing any other operation. As for the for loop, there should be a space between the for and the open parenthesis. The same thing, call it back into the next line, then a tab, and you can start your other operations here. Then close the call it bracket. That is basically the important things to note in the Betty style. And also put void inside the main parenthesis. Put your void inside there. That's also important. 
Yes, I think that I'm spitting much it for the better coding style. The confusing part is just the comments. So just note this my comment style. This is what you should know for the better coding. The rest are pretty easy. And this code, okay, let me quickly run the code for you so you see what it does. You don't really need to know it, know about it right now, but let me just run it so you can see. It's not just a rubbish code. Okay. So you type make and be the name of the file. <coughs> okay, now let me run the file. That's what it does. Okay, it's programmed to print a set of 20 random numbers. Okay, so let me enter any number now. Let's say, let me enter a number. Um, maximum number 50. So now it has printed 20 random numbers between 1 and 50. That's just what the program does. Yeah, so that is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one, probably. <laughs> if there's a nice one. Yeah, thank you.